Next thing I want to build is a zap plate. Zap plate's very easy to build. Uh, we get these boxes. Uh, we build this North Pole speaker box and the zap plate from these Rubbermaid boxes. They come with a sticker that you have to remove carefully. Now, when you're making these, you just remove the sticker and there's like a little ridge on one side. That's so I guess you can stack them and they kind of go over each other's lip. That's, that's like the back. So when you're facing it, you've just got this smooth edge and this, this, this lip is the back. So that's how I position it. And for this, you need a piece of copper wire that's 13 inches long. And I have a pair of all rounds. Everyone needs a pair of all rounds. Look at those. Oh, don't you want those? Mmm, all rounds. Okay, so my all rounds, I just simply make a little loop here. And the loop is for the nut and bolt. That, that guy's going to fit right in there. So that's simple. Just make a loop on each end. And later on, that'll be connecting to that bolt. So that's pretty easy. A couple of loops. Loopy. Alright. So, I've got my 13 inch piece of wire that I've now looped the ends of. I'm going to set that to the side because I feel very accomplished. Um, I do this to a whole bunch of them. I put um, a nut about that far from the, uh, the end there. On a whole bunch of them. I just sit here and do that all night. I don't do it to all of them, but I do it to many of them. So I just can grab them and go. So that's what kind of creates the space so it sticks out a little bit on the zap plates. So I prepare it. Each zap plate gets two of those. So here are two. One, two. Okay, now this is where the gloves come in. Nice pair of thin cotton gloves. I got these because they have a nice donkey on them. That donkey is a terrible influence on me. And I'm going to grab these aluminum squares. Never touch these with your fingers. Yeah, same reason as the copper pipes. You'll immediately leave an oily fingerprint and they'll come find you. The, uh, there's always a crappy side. It's uncanny. There's always like a beautiful side and a crappy side to these. These are tumbled smooth and then they drill a hole, one eighth inch hole in the center. And so just find the nice side. Make sure it's pointing up. There's sort of an edge here before it starts to round off. There's kind of an edge. And then I look at these little little L's here. Make sure that I'm kind of centered there. And I eye it. I don't get it out of any tool or anything. Kind of put it into place. And then I make sure that these guys look lined up here and here. So the whole thing like kind of looks lined up. Looks pretty good. So that's all. I kind of get them just, just so. That way there's no like edge hanging off of the, the arch here to kind of snag stuff. So it's on. It's on the flat surface all the way. That there's no little teeny edge hanging off. And then I'm going to get a 1 8 inch drill bit. my left glove on. There's that. There's that. Now, on the front, lined up with the same holes we just made are going to
go the nuts and bolts. And I just eye those so that it's lined right up straight. Keep nice clean lines. Try to keep them the same, just center of the front here. Voila! So there you have it. I've made my four drill holes for the zap plate. Now, when it gets drilled, the stuff underneath the plate, see that? That's got to come out of there. Or it's not going to lay flat. Make sure you got your glove on and you lift this up. Get the plastic dust out of there. And there you have it. need one of these, you need these guys without the nuts on them just so they're kind of through there. I use a piece of bubble wrap to work on them. So I grab this. Here, I'm going to go a little bit wide. Here you go. You can see more what we're doing now. I hold the nuts underneath, flip it over, And then I secure it with a nut. One nut. Two nut. There we go. Now this, what is this? This is one quarter. This is a deep socket. It's one quarter. Fits my little ratchet here. Now, after I've just finger tight, it's kind of screwy. So I gotta fix that. I don't want to touch them with my hands. I hate wearing gloves. So I'm gonna use the handle of my tooth, my uh, my, yeah, my my paintbrush here. Just sort of straighten it up. Eye it. Make it look good to the customer. Once it's good. I'm going to tighten this. Not too much, just got to tighten it. If you tighten it too much, it'll actually break the bolt rather easily. It'll just break right off and you got to do it again. I'll just tighten it down so it's not going anywhere. Looks good to me. Now, here's my little trick for doing the wire. When you're doing the wire part, there is a trick to it. I clean off the plastic shavings here so that it's smooth. Now these are the ones with the nuts on them now. Put this in there. And without worrying about these connections, Just add the, the looped copper wire into place here. Just one nut. And then let's do the other one. Like this. That way, I get these kind of even and looking right before I even connect them to the plates. I find it's much easier to just connect these first. So once I've got that connected, it's also good to have a little crescent wrench, another one quarter. There it is, one quarter. I just uh, pop this on the nut out here. This up. There. So those are pretty even. Those both look pretty good to me. Like so. And the wire is connected. 
Now. Now all you do is, I do this like funky thing where I just bend this, the slack, around these like this. So see how I've just sort of pinched it around those, these guys, I just pinch it around this, pinch it around that, and put in another bowl. So that way there's actually two bolts for the plate. One holds the plate flat, and then this one holds the copper wire in place. So this thing goes together really, really fast. I mean, it's just a piece of wire going through four little nuts and bolts. And if you've got this quarter inch ratchet, the deep socket, the length of those bolts don't become an issue. Boom, boom. La, 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 la. Now when I'm done, I just do this thing to make it look good. I just kind of make this arch I just like things to look good, so I do those sort of, just pretty it up, so it looks kind of, looks more like it's going to do something for you, instead of it just being gangly wires. So that's how you make a zap plate, it's real easy.